Hi everyone, welcome back to the Golden Girls channel. Today we are talking about exercise and keeping a healthy body and mind. At the beginning of this summer, some of the Golden Girls and I traveled up to a camp in um, a mountain range nearby. And we went to um, a camp where we did a lot of different physical things. Some of them were more traditional um, physical activities. We you know we went swimming, we went on hikes, uh, and some of them were a little more unconventional. We played some tetherball. We did yoga and meditated. We walked through a meditative labyrinth. We played some volleyball, and we also participated in archery. And the camp that we were at in the mountains, we were actually at about 6,000 feet um, of elevation. So that really affected our exercise as well. It, I think that it pushed us to work harder and it really showed the effects that exercise can have. So at the end of the weekend, after we had packed up and we got ready to leave camp, we all sat down and we discussed uh, what we enjoyed most about the different exercises, which ones were the most fun, which ones we felt the most, as well as just in general exercises um, that we found empowering. So a lot of the girls um, really liked the yoga and the archery. They thought that was really fun. We talked about how it was really empowering, it felt good, and it was just uh, kind of a different form of exercise, but as we also talked about you can't necessarily go to an archery range every week The exercise that the girls most of them found the most challenging was the hike We took about a four mile hike up and downhill. It was really beautiful It was really rewarding and it was really challenging When we talked about activities in general to help stay active the majority of the girls felt that the best activities had to do with sports um, dancing having fun taking a Zumba class, doing things with friends that make you feel good and make you sweat. Exercise doesn't necessarily have to be pushing yourself as hard as you can, lifting heavy weights, going to the gym by yourself. Exercise can be fun. It can be going for a run with friends, doing yoga every weekend. You know, it's something that you make it. So after talking about the more exercise portion of our weekend, we started talking about reasoning. We talked about healthy ways and reasons that people can gain and lose weight. Why should you gain or lose weight? Being over or underweight. Okay, so... <laughs> so <laughs> what? If you're not healthy in general? So, yeah, like, if you're, yeah. Like, your weight isn't healthy. It's like having an effect on your day-to-day -day life. Like if you're yeah. so overweight that you can't get out of bed, or like if you're so yeah. underweight that you can't stand up without passing out. So daily... Struggle. Um, is it because you want to? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but that was wrong. <laughs> Wait, but that could also be a hug. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, but here, so, okay, so let's clarify that. Maybe if you want to get and more you do it, toned. Yeah, like more toned, yeah. or like. So, like, want to get toned, or want to get, or like want to build up. Yeah, so it's like the proper reasons why it's not wanting to do it to like fit a certain way or whatever it's wanting to do it for health reasons for you know just because you want to build muscle you know, like building muscle because for some people that requires losing weight and for others that requires gaining weight what else <laughs> You're right. maybe like like if you like really want to get in shape for like a sport that yeah, you really want to play so athletics yeah I mean, but like not like oh, I have to move up or down a weight class or yeah. like I just to feel better or whatever. Yeah. Like so to feel good too. Mm -hmm. Also, um, definitely. Well, we already kind of included like health things, but um, because if you have if you have too much weight or too little weight for your body type, then that can uh, contribute to health problems like diseases. You know, like um, or sicknesses, you know, like diabetes or malnutrition, so definitely like to protect against, um, yeah, to protect against sickness, you know, if you don't have enough body weight, you're a lot more prone to develop a cold. So what about healthy ways of losing or gaining weight? Uh, exercise. Yes. Okay, so, but, uh, well, exercise that's it, like, and eating it, it within reason. Yeah, so, okay. not every day for like six hours a day. Yeah, exercise within reason. Like honestly, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, like if it's yoga or if it's like running. I could be really painful too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. Yeah, because gaining weight isn't yeah. always just like fat. Yeah, it's like muscle. Like gain muscle. Muscle yeah. Yeah. Muscle yeah. Okay, what else? What are other good ways of easily gaining and losing weight? Not necessarily. Um, well, just like 
you know, like cutting out really bad food. Okay, so yeah. cutting out processed food. That just like need. a balanced yeah. nutrition. So yeah. balanced nutrition, right? Because you you need the right amount of protein and all that stuff. You can go on a plant based diet. Yeah. But you have to make sure that you keep getting well, like, yeah. protein. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll put red meat question mark because red meat uh, in the proper balance can help you to build up because there has a, there's a lot of protein in it. But if you're, you're eating too much or if you're not eating enough of other things, then it can cause a lot of heart issues. Yeah, that cholesterol. Yeah. You gonna die ten years earlier? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. um, um. Also, like, uh, like. You have to be careful about how you do it. Like you have to be careful about which vegetables, but like a juice cleanse. Juice cleanse, okay. But like a very short period of time. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't just like go into the cleanse, just going into it, like you have to build up. To Transitioning. It. Yeah. Like rest days too, because yeah, you know, you don't want to be working, like if you're working out every day for like 30 minutes, that's fine, that's fine, you know? But you don't want to be doing like three hours of exercise and like heavy lifting and not give your body a break. Because that's just as important because you need your, your amino acids and your proteins all need to recover in order for your muscles to um, actually make a change. Rest is so important. Yeah. So that's so mental and physical health. Yeah. Also like sleep too. Like sleep if you don't get enough sleep, you're not going to... You're not going to have the energy to yeah. exercise and if you do exercise, it's not going to have the same benefits. Yeah. What else? Oh, uh, okay. I know this is boring, but like yeah, we'll just do it for yourself, not because like, yeah. you feel like you have to. Yeah. So now let's talk about unhealthy reasons and ways of losing your weight. But to fit in. Yeah, so to yeah. fit so to fit an image. Well it could be for to both. drop a size or gain a size or like yeah. yeah. So change sizes for wrong reasons. Yeah. Or like to try to be like a model or an actress or something. In yeah, so industry. To, for industry. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to have to change yourself. If you have to change yourself for a job, then you need a job. I don't know, like the whole like weight class thing with wrestling, like I don't really like. Oh um, yeah, so like fitting weight classes. Are you just like? I mean, that for like sense. sports. In yeah, for athletics. Yeah, because because the thing is like there's there is weight classes for a reason, right? Because you don't they, want like yeah. a two fifty guy wrestling like a hundred pound yeah. guy. But the problem <laughs> is then that if you want like, like, like a twig. People are people strong, like, they're going to want to move down a weight class so it's easy for them to win, and that's when the problem comes in. Yeah. And also, like, oh, a shit. coach is, like, forcing you to move your weight class. Yeah. So because they already like, have some of, like, a certain type of weight class. What are other, um, like, ways, like, reasons that you shouldn't... Reasons? Eating disorders. Peer yeah. pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah, so... Definitely yeah. unhealthy ways would be eating disorders, you know? Binging and purging. Anorexia. Oh, like over exercising? Yeah, that yeah. So definitely over exercising <clears throat> or under or exercising. Yeah. For a lot of people, losing weight means losing muscle mass because a lot of girls, especially in high school, quit their sports because they think that they look too manly. Mm -hmm. So they might just be like, I'm cutting out exercise altogether, and then I'll lose my muscle and I'll look skinny again. So yeah. there's definitely that aspect. Like I lose weight in the summer not because I'm like doing more it's just because like I dance season is not in season so I like lose all my muscle mass and I lose also like 10 pounds with it yeah. and as soon as season starts getting it all I feel like I look the same I'm just lighter like but um with dieting you know you can say like oh well I'm, I'm only eating like cereal today or something um and I think healthy dieting like you put over here that's a good option right make balancing your meals making sure you're eating the proper proportions because most of us do eat too much of specific proportions but um unhealthy dieting, you know, like diet pills, those are not a good idea. Um, what about, so we've talked about natural ways of losing and getting weight, what about like surgeries? What do you guys think about that? Oh, mm -hmm. I, think, I yeah. think it's situational. I think that like, yeah. if you are, if you're morbidly obese and you can't get out of bed and there's no way you can exercise because you can't get out of bed, then yeah. that's your only option that you should do. Also, there's yeah. some people who like drop like, 200 pounds and they have this like leftover skin yeah. Yeah. that you literally can't lose. I yeah. feel like in that case it's fine because like you literally can't get rid of your skin unless you have surgery and like yeah. a lot of them it's like oh I lost 100 pounds but I still look I still look the same because I have all this skin even yeah. though they don't. Yeah. Like, other yeah there's people, like, the that's, whole saggy yeah. skin thing yeah and also because um what a lot of people don't realize a lot of people think liposuction is just like oh we're cutting out fat you're done but most doctors require like 
when they do light sections, you then continue to exercise before you can exercise before and after, so you lose some weight before you have the surgery, and then you continue to lose weight after. Yeah, because um, a lot of liposuction <laughs> can't really be performed on people that are too heavy because their heart is not strong enough yeah. to withstand the surgery. I'm actually gonna put Weight Watchers over here because Weight Watchers is good if you don't obsess over it. Yeah. So Weight Watchers, they have. I think that it. it the thing about Weight Watchers is if you are going in with a healthy mind, you're gonna it's gonna help you. If you're going in with an unhealthy mind, it's not gonna help you. And that, it's just like any other situation because Weight Watchers, what they actually do is yeah, they have like they make food that has like lower calories or whatever, but they also do like, they give you like you know lesson plans for um, for like good meal healthy meals. They give you um, ideas for different exercises you can do. They and they do do the thing where it's like. Oh, like you lose like five pounds here, you get like a little coin, which to some people might be like, oh, I have to lose like weight or whatever. But if you, that's what you're trying to do in a healthy way, then it's like positive incentive, I think. Yeah. So yeah. Sometimes I think can be bad though because I know they have a calorie tracker app. Yeah. And I know someone on it, and she just wouldn't eat because she was like, I have to be under blank amount of calories. Yeah, it's like right I already so had all like, calories. Yeah. yeah. So we're. So I feel like in that way it's bad, but in most ways it's good. But like if you're tracking just calories, it can be bad or like yeah, just again, pounds or something. So like most of these things, you know, like dieting, with eating, with um, just like athletics, when you're doing it the proper way, it's healthy. When you're doing yeah. an improper way, then it creates unhealthy problems for you. Obsessively weighing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to put really like scale. You what? I just never do that. Yeah, my mom had to take away. mine away. Like she like took the batteries out and then hit it because I would always wear this. I think surgery is bad though because you talk about good surgery, it's bad There's, if you're just yeah. trying to like. If you're trying to have a quick fix, yeah. Like the one where it's like makes your stomach smaller, but. Oh um, yeah, they there's a surgery oh, ribs. You could take out ribs. You yeah. could take out ribs. There's ones that you they put a belt around your yeah, stomach yeah, yeah. so you physically yeah. cannot eat more. Well, like the oh, yeah, like the waist trainers. Uh, Except around your like physical like, yeah, stomach, like your yeah, stomach. 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 Yeah. I think waist trainers are really dangerous too, and, and waist trainers can damage your organs, can damage your ribs, because it it changes the shape of your body. Which some people are like, oh, like I want like a, like smaller waist and like a bigger hips, but when you're doing it in, because what people don't understand is that if you want if you want to like look more curvy or something, you know, you can build up like the fat or the muscle on your thighs, and you can like whatever, but. With waist obliques, trainers, no, obliques. yeah, obliques, obliques, right? Obliques. But with waist trainers, it's like rather than adding on, it's taking away, and that's when the problem, that's when the problem starts. Um, okay, so would you guys say that when you are trying to lose or gain weight, do you think that you do it in a healthy way or an unhealthy way? Uh, unhealthy. unhealthy. I mean, I think that now I would do it healthy, but like in the past, in the past. I definitely did it unhealthy. Oh yeah, I mean, that's why I have any. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? Like, do you think that you well, like now? Currently, I don't try. I'm like not actually yeah. trying to lose yeah, weight. Like, but I, if I did try, yeah. yeah. If I, like um, in the past, obviously, like that helped me. But yeah. Um. Do you? Why? Why do you think? Because the majority of you said that in the past, when you've tried to lose or gain weight, you've done, you've used some of these unhealthy tactics. Tactics. Um. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that you chose that way? A fast the quicker fix. way yeah, out. <laughs> Fast fix. Okay. okay, Marina, what about you? When present or past, when you try to lose or gain weight, why have you chosen to do it in these ways? In the smart one. <laughs> also, because I just, I'm pretty comfortable with my body, so like I don't really like crave a fast fix. So like if it, it takes a while to see, and like I understand that, like results are going to take a while, like that's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think that's generally good because I think that there's definitely a lack of education in in um, not only eating disorders, but in um, exercise in most school systems. Um, so people don't know, some people don't even know that those options aren't healthy, first of all. And the ones that do know that, they don't, uh, so a lot of people don't realize, you know, gaining muscle mass or losing weight or all of the things, when you're trying to change your body, it's gonna take a while. You know, it's it's not, uh, I mean, I do it too, right? Like, I'll work out, I'll be like, why is my butt not big already? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, cause you know, People, Where are you? <laughs> yeah, you know. I you, did five sit-ups or the abs. Like, yeah. <laughs> me, literally. So I think that the first step in being able to 
gain or lose weight in healthy ways is to establish and realize that fact that it's not going to be immediate, you know? Also what helps me is like after I work out, I feel like refreshed, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so I feel like I've like done things like I know like, oh, that feels good. Like I feel good now. So like, yeah. So, and because when you work out, you know, you release endorphins, you release a lot of chemicals that actually help your body in more than just like the muscle way. Um, it can help with uh, a lot of people who suffer with depression and stuff, you know, more higher levels of exercise really help with that. It helps to relieve that, especially yoga. Um, and yeah, so if you work out once and you're like, wow, I feel really great, you're going to have more incentive to do it again. As we talked about in the video, it's really important to have fun and to spend time with friends while you're exercising. So I challenge you to make a pact with a friend or a couple of friends to try to stay as healthy as possible. Vow to do at least 15 minutes of exercise six days a week and try to cut out as much processed food as you can. This can be a really useful tool. You can plan some hikes together, go to the beach and run. It's really important to have a community in which you can grow and exercise together. Thank you for tuning in once again. I hope that you guys learned something about exercise and start to think about the positives and the negatives of losing or gaining weight. If you want to stick around for the last couple minutes of the video, we have some footage of the different types of exercises that we did. Um, it might inspire you to do something more local or take a trip with some friends and you can just really see how much fun exercise can be. So thank you, have a great week, and stay healthy. Jacket and jeans, so many choices to fake a personality. Yeah, through the looking glass, I see a skin I wish fit me. All I want to be is the girl in the mirror, looking at me like she's got it all together. Everybody loves the girl. Hello everyone, everyone. I started saying everybody, everybody and then I said everyone and <laughs> Hello everybody And Molly forgot her And Molly forgot her inhaler Molly had an asthma attack, it was 
stressful. We also went, I can't talk. <laughs> Is it not there? Did I leave it? I don't leave it. Downstairs. Did you get the picture? I did. I forgot. I'm almost done. Oh. And they have Scooby Doo's. Scooby Doo. Well, I got a ghost in the pumpkin. Okay. Minish. Minish. I come in. I'm like, if you want us to come around. <laughs>